as the Chinese Basketball Association gets set to tip off its 2012-2013 season next weekend, there is a new team that's squarely in the national spotlight. The Qingdao Eagles made the biggest move of the offseason as they signed former NBA superstar Tracy McGrady. McGrady was an all-star in the NBA seven times, led the league in scoring twice, and is certainly the most high-profile signing in CBA history. Our Wang Dong recently caught up with T-Mac to discuss his decision to come to China and much more in an exclusive one-on-one. -on -one. The most difficult part is just being away from your family. Um, everything else is, is pretty comfortable. Uh, I think everybody in the, within the organization is doing a great job of helping me settle in and, and feel comfortable. Well, how ready were you before you came here and psychologically, and what about now? Uh, I really didn't put any expectations on myself. Uh, I just wanted to come over here and, and um, you know, try something different mm -hmm. and, you know, get a feel for how the CVA guys you know, play the game of basketball. Um, it seems like it's well competitive over here, and you know, I'm looking forward to the excitement. Um, I have a great team that I've been practicing with for the last three weeks, and it's no question I work extremely hard to get to this point. Um, you know, as you all know, I had knee surgery back in '09. It's just been a struggle uh, to get back to uh, feeling good, having my body feel good, physically, mentally, just being in the right uh, state of mind. And, um, I'm at that place right now because I worked extremely hard to get to that point. And I, I feel great about this opportunity. I feel that, you know, um, I'm going to bring some great excitement to uh, Qingdao. And as a former NBA superstar and also seven-time All-Star player, up to this point, to come to CBA to play, now, how do you deal with this kind of uh, change? Well, I've been a uh, had to lead an NBA franchise for, for so many years. I don't think you know coming to the CBA would be any different. Um, you know, I'm I, I've, I'm well prepared for that, and uh, you know I, I accept having that role. Um, I've learned so much in my 15-year career in the NBA, and I think I could bring some of that experience here in the CBA and you know help my teammates become better players. Is this kind of sudden change of status a problem to you, or very difficult to handle? accepted a lot of challenges in my life and you know I don't think this is one of the toughest ones that I've, I've you know uh, come across so it's just basketball you know and it's, again basketball is universal um, you know it was just whether I can sustain being away from my 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 family for you know four months I bet you Skype or thanks to modern technology talk to your family every day I, oh you know thank God for you know, for Skype. <laughs> well, one of your former rivals from the uh, NBA, Stephen Marbury, had a great success story last season in Beijing and also in China. And during our interview, he told us that it is very likely you could even repeat this kind of a success story or even surpass what he did and achieved. What do you make of it? No, well, you know, what I think it is is just a great alternative, you know, um, for, for guys that, you know, had some success, success in the NBA and you know, it's just a, another um, alternative to, you know, prolong your career and have, you know, re regain that success again. Um, you know, for me, uh, you know, I was a, a all-star player for quite some time in the NBA. And, you know, after having a knee surgery, it's just like, you know, you'd be on top one minute and then you fall off the charts. So um, having that success over here in China is just brings the love and the joy back for the game. And uh, no matter what I went through in my career, uh, my Chinese fans stuck by me, you know, through it all, and I get to get that back, you know. I, I've lost that for so many years in the NBA, so coming over here in the CBA, I get that back, and, uh, you know, it's just another alternative for that. Well, realistically, everybody is expecting to perform well, especially from the management side, and you probably will be stealing some of the limelight from the upcoming CBA season. Now, you will be under tremendous pressure, as you probably expect as well. Well, you, you don't think about it. You know, the only thing I concentrate on is winning ball games for this team. You know, that's the only thing I, I concentrate on. I've been in that situation before where uh, you'd be at the top and everybody is gunning for you and you have, you know, a, a lot of pressure on you. There was a lot of pressure put on me in, in the NBA, you know, but um, again, the CBA is not the NBA. Um, so I, I don't put any pressure on myself. You know, all I do is concentrate on uh, playing basketball, trying to win basketball games and, uh, you know, let those things control uh, themselves. I, what I can't control, yeah, I don't worry about. Well, your teammate Yao Ming, now the boss of the Shanghai Sharks, the team you will meet in the upcoming season. And when the two teams actually encounter, what would you say to Yao, given that you guys have already changed your roles here? Uh, I don't know. I mean, you should probably catch up and see how he's doing and uh, want to know how his, 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 uh, his kid is doing and, 
just you know reminisce about some old times but I don't know. So what's going to happen to Tracy McGrady uh, at the end of March next year when the season perhaps is going to be over if your team uh, doesn't make the uh, playoffs? I don't look I don't look that far ahead. I haven't even played a game here yet, you know. So I, I I don't worry about what's going to happen after the season, you know. I just want to, I, I'm going day by day, you know. I don't know what to expect, so I definitely don't want to, you know, look four months down the road because I, I don't even know what to expect on you know, day one of a CBA game. Um, what I can tell you is that uh, I'm very excited about this season, and um, this has a, this has been a team that you know has never even tasted the playoffs, and uh, you know for me to be here and, and, and lead this team to the playoffs will be a huge, huge accomplishment for this team, for this organization, for this city, and uh, we, we look forward to that. Tracy, it's been a pleasure talking to you. We certainly wish you all the best in your new and future endeavors. Thank you. Appreciate it. Pleasure. Yes, sir.